Okay, welcome back again. My name is Corey Weichel, realtor in St. John's County and Jacksonville, Florida. Today we're going to be doing a beach walk neighborhood drive and we are entering right now. Uh, there is a total of six different uh, um, sub communities inside of beach walk that you can buy property in. As well, you can see to the left hand side, there are also apartment complexes that um, you can rent out in addition. Uh, this is one of the newest communities in St. John's County. And as you'll see, they are still building a lot in um, some of these neighborhoods. Um, and they have building sites in all the neighborhoods still going up. So the first one we are going to look at is going to be the reef. It is um, gonna be right up here and you can see we're entering the reef when we have these two pillars um, that we are gonna be going right down the center of. So the reef community, they are a single family homes. As you can see, we turn here, there we go. And now we're in the reef community. So like I said, single family homes um, between 1,503 square feet to uh, 2,298 square feet. Uh, bedrooms, you're gonna be looking at between two and four bedrooms, depending on the size of home you get. And bathrooms as well will be two to um, 3.5 bathrooms. Each of these family homes, whether they are single or uh, two-story homes, will come with um, two-car garages and pricing uh, starts at uh, 312,000 essentially, and it goes up to $367,000 if you're going to get the higher model. Of course, that is starting, and any additional uh, upgrades will be on top of that. Um, so this is the Crystal Lagoon uh, facility. Um, so you're gonna be having HOA fees, uh, monthly HOA fees in this community will be $314 with a special assessment of $293. And you can expect the tax rate to be uh, about 1.25% um, the value of the home. Um, so as you can see, most of the homes are built on this side. They do have still some, they are building some still. Um, but if we look straight ahead, there will be more homes in the reef community all along that side straight ahead. Those have not obviously started construction yet, um, but they, they will shortly. Um, so there are three ponds in this community as well. Uh, if we take, so we took the right hand turn here. Um, now we're gonna be getting into the Grand Isles um, community, which is also built by Lennar like the reef is. Um, so these are actually gonna be townhomes and uh, for these homes, you're looking at between 1,611 square feet up to 1,751 square feet. Um, as you see, they don't have a ton constructed right now. They are building um, pretty slowly, but it is gonna be a very big community as you can see from the site map. Um, bedrooms here, you're looking at two to three bedrooms um, and baths, you're gonna be looking at 2.5 baths for each of these townhomes, no matter which floor plan you do select. Uh, pricing wise for these is gonna be uh, 250,000 to 263. Um, as you can see, as we're driving here, all these to the side, you obviously can see have not even been, um, uh, the, the pad for the concrete hasn't even been laid yet, but um, all these will be townhomes all along here. It is a big circular loop um, that you can see from the site map that I will put up in the corner as well. Um, so we have that. They're all going to have one car garages as well. Let's see. Uh, so this is right here where we're going to have to do a U-turn. However, when this community is done, it will be straight ahead and it will be a complete loop that you can go through. Uh, monthly HOAs uh, for this community is $417, uh, special assessment of $149. 
and the tax rate is uh, is projected to be about 1.25 percent for these townhomes as well. Uh, the one thing that I do like about these townhomes is that even though they are only one car garages, um, once we get up here, we'll it'll be easier to see that they do have very long driveways. So you could get uh, probably an extra, you know, one to two cars, or sorry, you can get at least two cars um, in these long driveways. As you can see, these small cars right here, you could probably even get close to three if they are small cars. Um, they also, you know, screen patios uh, as well. And you still get all the great amenities that you get with the, the single family homes. You get that crystal lagoon and um, all that stuff that we'll talk about when we are exiting this community going to our next community. So we are now leaving um, the Grand Isles and we'll be going back. We have to go through uh, the center of the reef. As you can see, this is where we turned right that first time. So if we turned right here, that's where the reef is going to continue building up those uh, single family homes around that pond that they'll um, probably be filling up a little bit more. Uh, but if we're looking at the amenities of this community, so you have the 14 acre Crystal Lagoon. Um, it is beautiful. It comes with two water slides. There's a swim up bar associated with it. Um, there's a 12,000 square foot private beach clubhouse um, that has a restaurant and a full service bar. Um, you have, you know, a dog splash park if you have dogs. Um, and then there's a large and a small dog park um, for the different size dogs as well. Um, you're gonna have volleyball courts, uh, sand, uh, sand volleyball courts. Um, you're going to have uh, six um, tennis courts as well that are in this community. And uh, while it's not built right now, as of February 2021, um, they are building um, retail space. So there's going to be huge retail um, section. So it'll be very easy for to get groceries, to go to go bar to bars and restaurants outside of this community. Um, so there are so many amenities in this community, even though the HOA fees are high. Um, if you have kids, I can guarantee they are going to absolutely love that Crystal Lagoon. Um, and we'll show some pictures of it at the end here. So, okay, uh, moving on. Now we're going to go to the uh, Al uh, Atlantica Isles. Um, it is open, so we're going to turn in here. Um, this is not built by Lennar. This is built by uh, Americrest. Um, these are what I call um, single-family townhomes because they're not the thin townhomes that uh, we just saw. They're, they're larger townhomes with, with two-car garages. Um, but price-wise, you know, these are far more expensive. They're, you know, 700000 starting to over a million. You can get a good discount if they have inventory homes. Um, but if you're, you're building to suit, then it's, um, or you're building um, a new one, it's going to, it's going to be expensive. Uh, square footage, you're looking at 2,553 to uh, a little over 3,000 square feet. Bedrooms, uh, three to four bedrooms with an additional loft. Bathrooms at 2.5 to 3.5. And then, uh, as I said, you're going to be having two car garages um, as well. Uh, as you can see, all the homes on our left-hand side that we've been passing are actually um, going to be bordering the uh, lagoon. So they have a great view of the lagoon. We'll turn around here because there's no more homes down that side, but it will do a full loop as well um, that you can see in the site map. But so now on our right-hand side, all these homes right here are bordering that crystal lagoon. So they have great views of the lagoon. If you have kids, your kids can go to the lagoon and you can tell them, hey, stay within sight. And you can watch your kids from the balcony um, while they play at the, at the lagoon if you want. Uh, like I said, this has been done by Americrest and these homes are, you know, the most expensive homes um, in the uh, beach walk community and um, those are going to be the one bordering the lagoon obviously will be the most expensive and then as you get uh, farther into the um, 
the Atlantica Isles, it'll be less expensive. But you could be over a million dollars um, if you're, you know, bordering the lagoon. Um, so we'll leave this community now, um, and we're going to head to the Dorado. Um, and la last step on these, they don't really give much information on HOA, special assessments, and tax information unless you're, you know, getting close to buying. Um, but you can expect them to be similar to what we'll see at the Dorado um, or at just the Lennar homes in general. As you can see to the right hand side, we have the tennis courts um, there. And um, this is where the beach walk um, community clubhouse is and the lagoon is right there. So one of the great things about the Dorado that we're going to right now is that it is literally across the street. Um, now, this is a um, golf club community, so you can drive your golf cart but, um, or golf, golf cart community, sorry, golf cart community, so you can drive your golf cart everywhere, um, which is helpful, but being right across from the um, amenities is also a nice, nice benefit here. So, the Dorado. The Dorado is built by Lennar. Um, they are all single family homes, um, a little over, uh, starting at a little over 2,000 square feet, all the way up to um, 3,400 square feet. You're going to be looking at uh, three to four bedrooms, um, bathrooms, three to four um, uh, garages. You'll be having two to three car garages, and um, they're going to be. They start at about four hundred thousand, and they go up to uh, five hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. As you can see, they do have a good amount built here. Um, they don't have uh, a ton of ready-to-move-in houses. I think they only have one right now. Um, so most of them are going to be where they're going to be building um, after you execute the contract. So you can expect uh, you know somewhere between six to ten months, depending on their their speed here of building. Uh, monthly HOAs for the Dorado are going to be two hundred and ninety eight dollars. Uh, special assessment of three hundred and three dollars, and you're going to expect that tax rate of one point two five percent as well. As you can see uh, right now, as we're finishing this loop here, um, many people are moved in. Um, so while you're still gonna have a lot of the construction because they're still building many of the other homes, depending on where you actually get your house, you might not have too much um, of the construction hassle. But that is something to always consider when you're buying in a, a new construction um, community, is dealing with construction workers coming in and out. Um, so, I think that hit most of the Dorado. Um, so we're going to be leaving the Dorado and we're going to be going to the Cove facility. Well, really um, only one part of the Cove facility because the other part that is the Americrest portion really has not been uh, built up at all. So it's essentially just dirt. But we do have the vintage estates section of the Cove that we can go to. Um, it is completely sold out. So this is more gonna be for people who are not gonna be buying the new construction, but when these start going on the market um, in maybe, I don't know, a year or so, then you can actually see that. But this right-hand turn here would be the portion of the Americrest that is bordering the lagoon. Um, but we're gonna go to the other portion of the cove. Um, it is just a, a loop. Um, but this portion of the cove is, like I said, um, by Vintage Estates, uh, starting at $500,000, and they go all the way up um, to close to a million. However, like I previously said, they are sold out of these because they did not have, as you can see from the site map, they did not have a ton of um, portion here. I think Americrest sold them, uh, some of them, because they, uh, Americrest didn't want to do it. But as you can also see, the style of these homes is very different from what we've seen at the, um, the Lennar built facilities and at the Americrest facilities. Um, so here you're looking at single family homes, uh, 2,600 square feet all the way up to uh, roughly about 3,800 square feet. Um, as you can see, they still have a few to build out. Um, 
but they are uh, bedrooms. You're looking at four bedrooms, bath, three to four bathrooms, and uh, two to three car garage. Um, if you kept going straight, you'll see Americrest is building up some of those homes, um, but there's still a lot to do there. For the Americrest side, the ones along along the uh, la, sorry along the lagoon are going to be um, the single family townhomes that we discussed in the Atlantica Isle section. And then the ones on the interior will be the single family homes. And those single family homes would start at 300,000. Um, so that basically gets us the cove because it is a small little community right now because Americrest hasn't done much with their portion. Um, but like I said, these you're gonna have to buy these when they come on the market because they are sold out, the vintage estate ones. Um, and then the final community that we're going to hit is going to be uh, the Seaside Estates. Uh, the Seaside Estates is a Dream Finders community and Americrest. So again, Americrest initially owned it and then they uh, gave some of it to the Dream Finders, probably because they just had too much, uh, too much land here, too many um, sites to do themselves. Um, but here is the Seaside Estates. Um, like I said, Dream Finders are the only one building right now. <laughs> um, although Americrest has, um, I believe, sold some of them, but just haven't, haven't uh, started building yet. But so Dream Finders has uh, 13 floor plans with this community. As you can see, they're building right now. This is the weekend and they're still building, which is nice to see. Um, or at least some of the houses are still having stuff done to them. This right here is the um, is the Americrest portion. As you can see, you know, no homes are really being built right now. The only ones that are being really built are the Dream Finders um, as of February 2021. But many of these are sold, so they're going to have to start building um, sometime. Uh, I don't know how backed up Americrest is, but it looks like they are backed up pretty heavily. Uh, we'll make this left-hand turn to get back to the Dream Finders portion. Um, so Dream Finders, uh, 13 floor plan, single family, 3,000 square feet to um, roughly about 4,400 square feet. Beds, we're looking at three to six bedrooms. Baths, we're looking at three to five bathrooms. Uh, we're looking at two to uh, three car garages. Uh, let's go right here um, to look at these down here. And we're looking price range for the Dream Finders is going to start at uh, 524000 and it's going to go all the way up to uh, 607000 And that's, of course, starting. Um, it will be higher. Actually, this one straight ahead of us right here with the two columns is the $606,000 model. Um, starting and it goes uh, that's starting obviously and you know depending on the upgrades that you can get you know it can go you know far higher than that um, but they do have all the same great amenities um, and uh, HOA fees uh, tax rate special assessments are all going to be similar to what you are going to find in the Lennar communities between you know 300 to 400 um, tax rates of roughly 1.25 percent. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna head out of the um, Seaside Estates uh, community up here. We still do have a, a while, a ways to go. So I'll, I'll hit on some of the other stuff here. Um, the amenities. So, you know, there's lots of ponds in this in these communities. Um, uh, the building of the additional um, retail space is really gonna be huge. And it's something that it's going to take a while, but once it is all completed, it's, it's, this is gonna be such an amazing community that you can, you know, literally just never have to leave, honestly, because of all the retail space that will be there. Um, Again, in this community seaside, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of construction still because as you saw, a lot of the home sites are still empty, um, sold or you know, for sale. So you can expect construction to be continuing on for you know, the next couple of years, honestly, probably. They, 
I don't believe they've really sold these as fast as they thought they would sell them. Um, really, in any of these communities, I think they thought they were going to sell these a lot faster than they have, um, because all the sites have, you know, vacant, um, vacant uh, sites to build on um, outside of uh, vintage estates because they only had, um, I want to say, somewhere around 20 to 30 uh, sites to sell out. Um, so. Expect a lot of construction over the next one to two years for all these communities, um, but after that, it's it's truly going to be an amazing facility, um, especially once they get the retail space up. Um, going forward, you can see as we're driving, they have a lot of these um, uh, roads that kind of dead end off to the sides. Um, so you can also expect those are going to end up being you know plotted out for site maps and then they're going to sell those as well um, so this community um, even outside the six communities they already have there's going to be a lot more um, and uh, so construction for those communities you can expect to probably go on for another five five plus years so uh, this is a community that's going to have a lot of construction going on for the foreseeable future but what you really have is some amazing amenities with the the largest crystal lagoon in the state of Florida. I mean, a 14 acre crystal lagoon. That is absolutely amazing uh, at the at the Beach Walk community here. Um, again, Beach Walk is in St. John's, Florida. Um, it is close to Nocatee, um, but you do have easy access to um, freeways, which is nice, just like the Nocatee community. Uh, so we'll go around this roundabout and we'll go uh, finally into this uh, uh, private beach club for this beach walk community. Um, so here's the entrance and as you can see 12,000 square foot uh, private beach club fitness center inside it is just absolutely beautiful the water slides off to the left there and we'll show a picture in a little bit so I appreciate it guys uh, like subscribe comment below if there's anything else you guys want to see, I will go ahead and do that for you. But I really appreciate it and have a good day.